Previously on... Am I, like, seeing shit right now? Cause I swear I thought I saw... Wait... That voice... Oh, crap! Pardon the cliché, but you left it unlocked. You were just inviting me to come in. What are you ta- Well, this is quite a fucking predicament, isn't it? Fuck! It doesn't help that you're fucking giggling at my fucking misery, girl, damn! That's true, but at least I'm not making noises. Gotta be careful. Careful of what, girl? Not getting caught when you break into people's home? I was thinking more along the line of letting you or letting your innocent little sister discover what her Oni-chan gets up to when the lights goes out. But you just got here, girl. Uh, she doesn't know that. But... Uh, oh! This girl! This girl! This girl! This girl! Oh my god! This, this girl! Oh my god! God, god! This girl! Seriously! Seriously! You're blushing! I'm not, girl! No! I reach for my pillow to toss it at this otherworldly intruder, but she dodges and watches it fly out of the window! And stop looking so happy about it! Fuck my pillow! Now, now, shouldn't you be pleased to have someone like me wake you up? I'd rather not have mysterious fucking teleporting girls sitting in my fucking window! Thank you fucking very much, girl, yeah! I lunge forward and grab hold on Myra's wrist. What? What? Don't push me, Mini. I'm not pushing you. I just want you to fucking disappear at the last second I leave. And no, and leave me to explain why I was talking to myself all morning. Go down. Oh, really? Are you sure this isn't just an excuse to take my hand and pull me onto your bed? Uh, oh, fuck. Like anyone would do that, go down. I probably let go of her wrist. You know. There's no need to get so worked up. Any healthy person would... Ah! Ow. Did you just... Hey, you weren't supposed to actually pull me. I, I, I didn't. You fell. But put, put on some proper clothes, pervert. Hey, you're the one who's like sneaking into my bedroom. Oh shit, my boner. Oh! Oh! She's back in the window. Fuck. Is my deal I got, I got down? God. Every man had warning. Warning. Morning wood, I mean. Girl, damn. You don't have to do that, damn. Uh, ahem. As I was saying, it's time for you to choose. Will you stay with your sister? Or come with me? And no, you cannot have both. This might well be a life or fucking death situation, damn. What the fuck should I do? Oh, okay. Well then, well she did come all this way, I'll run off with Myra before Rin notice I'm gone or... I don't care if she were fucking childhood friends or not, damn sinking through the window is my fucking thing. You know? I don't even fucking know anymore. <laughs> Damn. I mean... Huh. Should I? Okay. Okay. I don't know if, uh... The main, uh... Uh, uh, Mark, right? Yeah, I don't think Mark... Or does he know? That's the question. Does he know? Does Mark know that this chick is either not a human? Or illusion or something. Uh, it, it depends on if he does know that. I think he does, right? But you know, fuck it, girl. You know, fuck it. I, I, I'll sure. I, I guess I will. Right, right? Might as well. I mean, shit. We're like, yeah, yeah. Fuck school. Let's go. 
I might end up regretting this, but you know what? Fuck it. Well, seeing as it came all this way, I guess we could like go somewhere, yeah. Really? Thanks. You're the best, Winnie Chan. Girl, shut the. <sighs> Myra jumps from the window and lands on me, knocking me back onto the bed. Oh, what, what was that for, guy? I still got the wood, girl. Damn. Is everything alright up there? I know we joke about your daydream habits, but this is a bit much, you know. That's not good, holy shit. See what you fucking made me do, girl Dial. I try to muffle my balls, but we can't keep talking here for long, girl Dial. It's not my fault if you like to wake up early and talk to yourself. Even when it's clear that no one else in this or no one else is in the room. Fucking glare. Just stay fucking quiet, and you should be fine, or I go down. Ah, <sighs> all right, fine. As long as you promise to come with me. Myra reluctantly gets up and returns to her perch up the windowsill. And girl, t- turn around, all right? God, I need a change, okay? Don't I, damn? And I still got the wood, so please. Oh, you're awfully shy for a guy, aren't you? My face turns hot. Out of either embarrassment or fucking anger. If you fucking don't turn around right now, right now, I'll never fucking forget to lock my window again, girl. You understand? You understand? All right, all right, I'll do it. Just don't take too long, okay? It's cold out here. Well, fuck. I'm as tempted as I am, say to your fault for not using the fuck front door. I hold my tongue and reach for my school uniform. Are you done yet? I think one of your neighbors saw me. Then get the fuck out of the window, girl. Damn. But you're. Then close your fucking eyes, girl. Damn. Fuck. I don't know. Just don't attract any attention, damn. Um, Mark, are those footsteps on the stairs? Ah,、oh, fuck, girl. Let's go, damn.、Uh, hang on. There's an art to jump through windows. Fuck the art. I won't fucking ask, damn. Really. There's a trick to it. It goes like this. Ah,、uh, you be careful! What? My voice shoots through the window. No, the open window. As Myra hurriedly climbs out. Don't worry. It's just one story, and there's a railing to land on. That's not what I fucking meant for, girl. Damn. <sighs> oh, come on. Just try it. It's fun. F- fun? You caught jumping out of fuck bedroom window? Fun? But I don't have much time for, or I don't have much fucking choice, don't I? Fuck! Here goes nothing. Damn. Do I have a shoe? My right foot catches the hard surface of the railing with the far, no, fair amount of fuck force, but it isn't enough to hurt me. Okay. And with my remaining strength, I pro- propel on me myself to the side and land on the ground with both feet. That actually wasn't so bad. Am I wearing shoes right now? Uh, see, I told you it would be fun. It's only fun until you fucking break your leg, girl. Dial. I've been doing this for years, and I still haven't broke anything. Wait, you've been doing this for years? Like climbing on window sills? Like people's window sills? Like, like. Peep, Tommy. Peep. What? I knew she was a stalker. Damn. No time to chat. We're off. Well, g- gotta wait up. Fuck my shoot. Ah. Myra grabs my arms and pulls me, or pulls me into the unknown. I get the feeling I'm going to be late for fucking school. Damn. Probably will. You'd think I would complain about the weather, but it isn't bad today. Yeah. It's a nice weather. It would be great if I was wearing goddamn shoes. Damn. Let's just say I had shoes in my closet. Yeah. Fuck it. If only it were like this yesterday when we were traveling to Lilian's place. Damn. Lilian. Shoot. I was. I wasn't supposed to think about her. Goddamn. Focus, bro. Focus. Mark. Something's the matter. No, no, girl. No. I was just thinking about something pointless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, girl, don't worry. More importantly, what are we doing here? With Myra standing comfortably at my side like an old friend, I find myself in front of the city park. Except that it's the middle of a goddamn winter, yeah. Who goes to the park in the winter? It's a playground. 
Can you see? I know it's the playground, girl. I'm asking why we're here, you know? Because there's nowhere else to go, I guess. Fair enough! Hold on, so... Why did you... Where did... Uh, why did... What? We're already skipping school and jumping out of the window. Why not spend the fucking morning near a snow-covered playground? Myra clears the snow off a bench and directs me to sit down. Wait right here. There's a convenience store nearby. I'll pick up some... Or I'll pick up... Or I'll pick us, I mean, up something to drink. You sure? I mean, I wouldn't mind going with you, you know. No, it's alright. I know the owner. That isn't much of a reason, but okay, okay. I'll be back in a moment, alright? Uh, well, uh, yeah. I sigh and resign, sigh, and take in a deep breath of crisp air. I've got to admit, when I gotta admit, I mean. This park sure looks nice covered in all the snow, yeah. It's like already time for the holidays, and... Wh why am I invited to this? Why does she, like, want me to... Uh... I'm so confused, why? Christmas, eh? Oh yeah, it's cr Christmas, eh? Yeah. I think Rin will be with Lucas and some of their other friends, so if I wanted to do something, I could... But do what? Uh, I think about it idly for a moment. She stands beside me and... Our hands are linked. But we hardly feel anything through the gloves mittens. It's an... Idle daydream, I know, but it feels real, you know? More real in my head than in reality, anyway. I turn to her, heart pounding, and... Wh what? I... Uh... I'm back! Snapping to my senses! Damn, I spot Myra running back with a pair of juice boxes in her hands. Juices? I kinda want hot coffee, girl. Uh, ju juice boxes? She went through all that trouble to buy... Juice! Here, take one. Don't take this the wrong way, girl, but... Is this the best you could come up with? I mean... I was kidding, but she looks like she's seriously fucking offended. Damn! But, but juice is good. I know, but it's... It's tasty, healthy, and it refreshes the body and mind. I can give it a shot, yeah. I pull the straw out of this container, pierce through the foil coating, and sip. Peach. Yeah. Peach. Yep, it's my favorite. It's, uh... Strong, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's highly concentrated peach juice, filled with as much pulp as physically possible. Incredible, isn't it? Why do I talk to you, girl? Uh... Because you can't resist. God damn it. So, uh. Pulpy, uh. Yeah, uh. Seriously, I used to love these when I was a kid. Were you, like, possessed by the devil when you were a like, kid? Damn. You don't have much faith in my taste buds, do you? Not at the moment, no. Sitting on a park bench on a school morning in the middle of fucking winter, talking to Ailey about me least things without a trace of awkwardness in the air, uh-huh. If I didn't know better, I'd say that, uh, we were childhood friends, yeah. So, uh, what were you like as a kid, Myra? Me? Huh. Trying to think of a way to avoid the question, girl, mm? K kinda Well, at least she's honest, damn. Alright then, uh, I won't bother asking about your past. It's obviously something you don't want to talk about, right? That's suspiciously kind of you. Don't get used to it, girl. I'm just not in the mood right now. Damn, I mean, shit. You, you brought me out in the middle of fucking nowhere in the morning when I have fucking school. But no, I'm like sitting here drinking fucking peach pulp with you. A juice peach pulp. Peach juice pulp, I should say, and I'd rather have something warm instead of fucking cold drinks, damn! God, ah! Since we're already spending our morning here instead of doing what we should be doing, we might as well fucking make it count, right, damn! Myra finishes the thick mass of pulp she calls juice. I take a sip of it. You know, 
I think I like you, Mark. Any guys who can warm up to a stranger after only a couple days has to be a good person. Did you just compliment me, girl? Well, he would also have to be naive and careless and probably disloyal, too. You're a horrible person, girl. Uh... Why, thank you. I swear, seriously, this girl. This girl is... Uh, oh, oh my god, this girl. Uh... Hmm? You're thinking something along the lines of, this girl might be weird, but she's actually kind of nice now that I'm taking or I'm talking to her, right? Now, girl, now. You're totally wrong. Totally wrong. Definitely not. No. Spot on. Shit. Well then, what were you thinking about? I, I, I was thinking that uh, you're surprisingly, you know, good at making conversation. Yeah, even when you're like barely know someone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, really? I never used to be good at this stuff before. She abruptly stops. The last puff of condensation disappeared into the sky. Um, I mean... I mean, uh, trouble girl? You're a strange guy. Wh what? Do you hate me? Wh what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Uh don't give me that look, girl. Damn, it's a fucking... Your question is spontaneous. I don't even know how to handle it, girl. Damn. Are you serious? Like, serious, serious? No, of course not. Damn! You never hate someone like me, right? Sorry about that. I'm being weird. I'm usually not weird. Could have fooled me. You, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's let's change the subject. But we have nothing to talk about, remember? What's there to change? That's not true. We can talk about you. Me? What makes you think there's anything interesting about me? You'd be surprised. I mean, there's only one way to know for certain, right? So let's start. Uh, do you like want a, like, autobiography girl or what? Not exactly. Let's start with something simple like... Hmm. Ah, I know. What kind of stuff do you do at school? Well, nothing right now. I mean, seeing as I'm like skipping for the first time this term thanks to, you know, someone. You don't have to be here if you don't want to be. You know what the fuck I mean, damn. Ah, sh I don't know. School's normal for us, you know? Show up, attend classes, do homework, write tests, and eventually we arrive at the summer holidays, you know. That's... it? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, that's how school life is, you know, yeah. Then, what are you studying? Do you have any particular, like, aspirations? Nah, girl, not really. I'm not an aspiration kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hmm, it's going to be tough for you in the future, then. Straight to the fucking point, I see, damn. To be honest, I think I respect the fact that you're not looking for too much out of a life. You just call me a fucking simpleton, didn't you? You're simple, but not really in a bad way. So you're not denying it? That's not the point. I think it's nice that you can appreciate the finer details in life and not aim for anything, you know, too grand. It's intriguing. You're the first person that's ever said that to me. Ah. Really? I thought it would have been a pretty common op or opinion. It isn't. Trust me. Yeah. Everyone or everywhere I go, people are always telling me that I am too low, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that I don't have any real direction, you know? But lack of direction doesn't necessarily mean you're lost. Yeah. It just means that you're making your way to the finish without taking any present route. The conclusion's the same, you know? Not bad. I never expected that much from you. You really don't have much faith in me, do you, girl? Well, even if that were the case in the past, I think it's changed now. I've gained a bit more respect for you. Huh. Or hump. Sure, yeah, huh. It's practically an insult, but yeah, maybe I can accept it as a compliment. Mm -hmm. At any rate, uh... School isn't a big deal for us, you know? It's just something that students put up with because, you know, we have to. And I'm definitely not the only one without a goal, so... I see, but... Don't your, like, friends bother you about it? Like, friends?
from my experience, I... Yeah, it bothers them, alright. Mm, or at least, it's... Yeah, it definitely bothers one of them. You haven't changed. Mark? You... You're still... What the fuck is going on? Uh, Myra eyes drift to the ground, lost in desert wintry uh, paradise. Uh, the cold wind stinks at my heart. Look, girl, I told you, I'm fine. There's no need to worry about me, you know. I I told you. When did I tell her? What? No, uh, I didn't tell her anything. It's just a topic that I instinctively avoided. Yeah. You know? You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. We dance around each other, tiptoeing on thin ice. Without warning, Myra pulls out a pocket watch, one of the old-fashioned ones, with elegant designs etched into the metal, and checks the time. Ah, oh, this has been fun, but I really gotta go. My score is less lenient than I made it sound. Before I can ask about a pocket watch, she skips away. Wait, uh Ma- Myra! Uh, I, uh, uh... Normally I'd wait, but I really don't have the time to stick around anymore. Look, girl, I... You know, I'd like to see you again. Yeah. Whenever you have time. It doesn't matter. All right, girl, don't disappear on me, girl. Silly? Don't... Didn't we already go over this? Of course I'll find you. With that, she turns the corner and disappeared into the snow. And don't be late for school too, girl! I shout those words to the empty park, unsure of why I spoke them. Wait, so... A few minutes after morning bell finished its chime, the teacher walks in and my first class begins. Okay. Is she real? Is she real? I'm like confused now. What? I'm... on time? I guess? Yeah. Either that or he's ten minutes late. I sigh audibly and slouch in my chair. Lian. Of course. She'll be here, won't she? And after everything that happened before, I'm not sure what to say to her. Fuck. Oh, looks like the class is beginning. Guess I better try to pay attention today, yeah. Keyword, but you know, being try. Yeah. Oh, lunch arrives before I realize it. Yeah, this whole paying attention thing doesn't really suit me. Mm hmm. More importantly, I've got to track down Rin and Lucas to ask what, ask about what they were doing the other day. Yeah. Do you understand now? This is why the radio is so important, Brit. Ah, uh, I see. This isn't the first time I've said this, but you're a really strange guy. Lilian and Lucas are in our usual spot, talking about... Radio? Or something, yeah. I can hear them from where I'm standing, but they can't see me. What? Am I not like eavesdropping? I'm just checking my watch, yeah. Extremely slowly. Yeah. It might sound strange to you, but it's a key element of character design, you know? How do you expect to learn to draw if you can't look at things from the perspective of the fan enough, say, Bruce? Well, this is... Yeah, this was just your impromptu idea. Is that the point? Or, wait, that was... Was that Lydian? That was your impromptu idea. And my bad, guys, that's not the point! Information like this comes in handy everywhere in life. I'd like to know even a single place where that might come in handy. That's uh, that's an insignificant detail, you know, yeah. Just don't forget, bruh. Four, one, two point five. You know what I'm saying? It's it's necessary. Necessity, I mean. Um, I might regret asking this, but do you really find these things that interesting? Oh, but of course, yeah. It's the vital aspect of my existence, bruh. And you're not ashamed at all to talk about it? Not in the slightest, bruh. Not even to a girl? Well, uh, maybe a little, yeah, but I have no 
need to admit that to you, damn. You weren't planning on saying that, were you? Huh. A cutting mastermind such as myself makes no mistakes, bruh. But uh, occasionally, a slip of the tug does occur, bruh, so yeah. Something's fucking strange. I'm not sure what, but... You're a strange guy. And I'm not interested in ordinary humans, so... I have no complaints, damn. 2D is my world enough, sir. Yeah. Lillian laughs in reaction, but it's not the same way you laughed at the sitcom on TV or a bad pun. You're far more transparent than you think. Has anyone ever told you that? Not in the recent memory, nah. Damn it, something's not right. You create an identity by pretending to push reality away, but really you're just... Sorry I'm late, guys. Hey. I barge into the hall. I have to, like, talk to one of my teachers after class. What you, you know, guys been up to, yeah. Well, I was just telling Lillian about the ideal radio of... Ratio. Ratio. That's not radio. Ratio. Never mind that, bro. Uh, what have you, like, been doing, Lillian? Yeah. My only normal friend here? No? Uh-huh. Just the usual. Then, uh, yeah, let's eat. Studying makes me hungry, you know, yeah. I take out my lunch with more vigor than necessary. The others seem to notice that something's off, but... Never mind. It's lunch time. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. But... I remembered something as... Our conversation continued. It's not a complete memory, but it's there. Somewhere. It happened by chance. Lucas' binder was left lying on the ground, and a small, brightly colored object stuck out from the front. It was a bookmark. Are they going out to get that? Are they two together? Are they two together? Are they two together? What? What? It was a normal bookmark for the most part. Crudely laminated with a plain design. The only notable thing about it was that I'd seen it before. It was lying in Lillian's drawer yesterday, tucked safely away. I keep telling myself that it's pointless, but I can't shake the feeling that this memory is somehow relevant. Did Lucas give it to her as a present? That might make sense, but then how does he have the same one? It could just be a coincidence, but I know it isn't. It's silly. The thing I'm trying to remember is so irrelevant that I forgot that I forgot it after only one year. And yet, it must have been important to at least one person for it to be stored away so deliberately. Mark? You okay? Uh, girl, are you two, like, going out right now? Uh, because you two have a same bookmark, and I really appreciate it if you tell me what the fuck is going on, yeah? 